getting close to people in street photography is one of the most difficult things to accomplish in any type of photography for one simple reason fear when we start in photography we don't know how people are going to react we don't want to be seen as an intruder and most of all it can feel weird to assume that yes we are taking this picture of you very close even if we have the right to do it even if it is in a public space we think we may look like a stealer or look like a creep then why in the world would I recommend to get closer to people for another very simple reason empathy getting close to people will allow you to show more empathy in your photography you can feel more in these kind of pictures you feel closer obviously more intimate you can relate so much better to the person or the scene you're watching it's true for portraits it's true for any editorial photography and it's true for street photography where the main subjects are not the streets but people legendary magnum photographer robert kappa used to say this very famous phrase that every street photographer knows if your photographs aren't good enough you're not close enough so how do you actually get closer to people in the streets conquering this fear is also one of the main themes of the street photography workshop that I lead in Paris, in London or in New York. And I wanted to give you three quick tips that you can apply today in your street photography. The pictures you'll see here were shot last week at the Bonfin Church in Salvador where I live. But you can apply these principles anywhere. First, be part of the scene. Talk to people, get information about what's happening. People will see you photographing, but if you make your presence known, you are now part of the scene. You become a character in the story. You're the photographer. What are you doing with the cavalo? Cabo no lado? I'm not someone who stays neutral, silent or hidden. I'll go talk to people as much as I can. To make things clear, I'm not talking all the time to every single one I meet. And very often I just shoot and go. But if I want to get closer, I'll go talk to people and simply ask what's happening. No. The more you know about your subject, the better your photos will be. If you're traveling and shooting in a new city, simply ask the people who live there to tell you their story or the story of the location. And keep shooting while talking. You'll be amazed by the kind of pictures you'll get like that. Tip number two, don't look like a photographer. If you get very close to people to shoot pictures, it will help so much not to look like a photographer. If you look like what people think a professional photographer is, they will ask you, why are you taking this picture? What is it for? And they may blow a scene completely just by being aware of your presence. This is why compact cameras are so popular in street photography. If you're discreet and look like anybody, there's usually no problem for you to take pictures. In my case, I'm a green gold Salvador and my Portuguese is not perfectly fluent. With a compact camera I look like a tourist and most people don't pay attention to me shooting pictures. So use compact cameras and possibly a very light camera bag 
avoid any big DSLR, avoid especially zoom lenses. As for me, I try not to carry any bag at all, just the camera and a GoPro on the chest so you can see the pictures. Last tip, if you're too afraid to go for it and get very close to people, my advice would be to start by asking for permission. If you're a beginner in street photography, just start by doing portraits. When you see someone interesting, just go to him, to her, show your camera and ice nicely with a big smile if you can take a portrait. First, you'll be surprised how many people will simply agree and probably ask you to send them the portrait. By doing portraits, you will get used to go talk to strangers and interact with anybody. When you have done that a few times and you are more at ease with the process, stop asking for permission. Start shooting pictures while you go to people, while you get closer. When you're spotted taking pictures, then you ask for a portrait and you do the process all over again. And just like that, you're on the other side of the mirror where you get closer and you get the shot.